Hi folks, so in this video we are looking at using the Caligo inks that I mixed up in the last video um, that I made where I showed you how I mixed together my Caligo inks. Um, I'm using some leaves and some lovely ginkgo leaves that one of my students sent me and here are the inks that I mixed up in the last video. So if you haven't seen that video I recommend that you go and watch that before you look at this one so that you see how I mixed up my inks. So I'm just going to be printing with different layers of leaves like I did in the video that was comparing using open acrylics and regular acrylics. So for this one I wanted to show you the same process but instead using the Caligo inks so we could talk a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages of using the Caligo inks compared to the other two. So I'll talk first about the advantages. I tend to use Caligo inks most of the time I would say um, partly because I really like the slow drying time and the fact that you can get some really lovely transparent thin layers. Um, the slow drying time is even slower than the open acrylics and because I have mixed them and put them out on plexiglass they will actually stay wet for quite a long time. You could print for the whole day with them. You could probably even cover them up and use them again the next day as well. So really there's no wastage there. You don't get any wastage because you can keep on printing until you're finished using all the inks that you've put out. The other thing is that you can mix up loads and loads of really nice subtle colours. So you could decide on a colour theme for your printing and mix up loads of different tints and shades of that colour and have them all out and ready. Um, the other thing that I really like about the Caligo inks is that the layers are very nice and transparent. So you can see here my first layer was very, very light because I was using that yellow. It's quite hard to see, but as we move on, we can see through the layers and get a lot of nice transparency happening. They're a lot more transparent than working with regular acrylics. And that to me is the main advantage. Uh, you also get a lot crisper prints. You can really get in there and get a lot of detail, especially if you're taking prints of plants and things like that. So for me, that's another bonus point. And one advantage, which is kind of an accidental one, you can see here that the ink from some of my previous prints had not dried on leaves and that colour was coming up in that print. So you get some nice, interesting colour combinations as you move on printing. Your prints can start off very, very clean and then as you move on, some of the colour remains on the leaves that you were using or the stencils or whatever and they come up in future prints as nice extra touches. Um, that doesn't even really happen so much with the Golden Open because the paint kind of dries by that point but it definitely happens with these Caligo inks. You can get a nice effect if you want to do colour blending on your picture. So if you were going to start printing, you could print with some blue um, and yellow and red and, and it would naturally make the secondary colours, so orange and purple and green, just by how you layer them. Um, that gives another really nice effect, especially if you print continuously on one sheet. And I'll talk a bit about that in a minute. So I would say that they are the main advantages. Um, it's really, really good for making ghost prints. You get really good ghost prints with the Caligo Safe Wash inks. Um, I think there's other makes of inks available as well, but these are the ones that I really like to use. So it's the longer drying time, so therefore longer working time, transparency, um, subtle colours and nice colour blending. Those are the main points that I would like to make about those ones. So on to disadvantages. These to me aren't really disadvantages but they could be to you. The slow drying time could be a disadvantage because you have to wait in between layers. What I tend to do is I tend to work on maybe about 10 pictures at once. I 
I print the first layer or the first two layers, I hang them up to dry and then I come back and I print the next layer the next day maybe when the ink has fully dried, then I don't get any mixing. Um, this means that you kind of have to think in advance, it's not so good for spontaneous printing. Um, in this video I'm not doing that and you can see that the colours start to mix a bit. You don't get as good results um, doing it the way that I've done for this video. So you might find that if you are printing with several colours, one after the other, that those colours will start to blend as you are printing and that can lead to muddiness a lot more than it does with regular acrylics. Um, it's also not so good for getting grungy effects like you can with regular acrylics. Those lovely clean up prints that you get with regular acrylics just doesn't happen with the golden open so much or with these safe wash inks. So that is another disadvantage if that is the look that you are going for. Also, they are more expensive than buying cheap craft acrylics, you know, it has to be said. But um, as you can see from my Perspex plates with these mixed up inks, they last a really long time. You can get loads and loads of prints from one little dollop of ink. So actually, even though they are more expensive, I would say that they are more cost effective. So I've talked really about the main advantages and disadvantages that I find when using the Caligo Safe Wash inks for printing on your gel plate. And so maybe it's just something that you want to try and see if you like it better. There's always time for both ways. There are certain prints that you might want to do with acrylics and certain prints that you might want to do with the Calico inks. These these ginkgo leaf prints worked out really nicely with these Calico inks. I got some really nice lovely layers where I could see the transparency. So I really hope that you enjoy the rest of this little sped up video and that you would like to subscribe to my videos to see the rest of them. I'm hoping to do a lot more in future and also um, just comment in the comment section if there are any other videos that you would like to see on mixed media or jelly printing or other kinds of printing as well. There's not just jelly printing, there's other kinds of mono printing and things that I do. Um, and thank you very much for watching.